Google Cloud offers external HTTPS load balancing with global and regional scopes. It distributes HTTP and HTTPS traffic to backends hosted on a variety of Google Cloud platforms such as Compute Engine, Google Kubernetes Engine, Cloud Storage and so on, as well as external backends connected over the internet or via hybrid connectivity. In Google Cloud, a backend service defines how cloud load balancing distributes traffic to its backends. This table lists the various backend types and the features supported by global HTTPS load balancing in different modes. In this video, we will focus on how to create and configure a backend service with an instance group in a global external HTTPS load balancer. Let's jump into the Google Cloud Console and get started. The first step is to select load balancer type. Go to load balancing page and click create load balancer. In the HTTPS load balancing section, click start configuration. Select the option from internet to my VMs for external load balancing. Next, choose global HTTPS load balancer. Click continue. Enter the name of your load balancer, for example, web-map-http. Now, let's configure the backend service. Click backend configuration. Under backend services and backend packets, click create a backend service. Enter name of your backend service, for example, web-backend-service. Since we are creating a backend service for instance groups, set the backend type as instance groups. Choose the protocol as HTTP and named port as HTTP. Timeout represents the amount of time in seconds the load balancer waits for your backend to return a complete HTTP response before considering it a failed request. We will now configure the backend. Under New Backend, select Instance Group. In our example, we will select LB-Backend. Enter the port number as 80. Balancing mode determines whether backends of a load balancer can handle additional traffic or is fully loaded. For HTTPS, you can select utilization and define maximum backend utilization if all the backends are instance groups. Select rate and define maximum RPS if all the backends are either instance groups or zonal links. With capacity scaler, you can scale down the target capacity without changing maximum utilization or RPS value. Click Done. You can enable and configure cloud CDN and cloud security policy as required. Now, let's configure an important and mandatory parameter, health check. Click Create a health check. Enter a name for your health check. For example, HTTP health check. Select the protocol as HTTP. By default, the request path selected is root. But if you want, you can set a specific request path as well as expected response string. You can turn on health check logs if required and set the values for check interval, timeout, healthy and unhealthy threshold. Click Save. Enable logging to view logs for HTTPS load balancing backend service. You can configure whether to log all requests or randomly sample fraction using sample rate. It can be set through 0.0, .0 through 1.0, where 0.0, .0 means no requests are logged and 1.0 means 100% of requests are long. Now let's explore the advanced configuration option. Session affinity allows all subsequent traffic and requests from an initial client session to be passed to the same server. By default, it is disabled. You can choose session affinity type based on your requirements. In client IP, connections from the same source and destination IP address go to the same instance. In generated cookie, connections with the same load balancer generated cookie go to the same instance. In header field affinity, the proxy hashes the value of a specified header. The header field's name must be provided in the backend's consistent hash. This option is not available in classic load balancers. In HTTP cookie affinity, requests are routed to backends based on the HTTP cookie. This option is also not available in classic load balancers. Connection training timeout is the number of seconds a training instance will wait for in-flight connections to complete. With custom requests and response headers, you can specify additional headers that the load balancer adds to HTTPS request going to backends or to the proxy responses coming from the backends. We will return the default settings in this demo and click Create. Congratulations! The backend service web-backend-service is configured successfully and is ready to be used in global external HTTPS load balancer. For more information on backend service configuration, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.